Well, you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And it's been kind of a mess. You got recently. damn right. Yeah. Hell yeah. It, it's been it's been a mess. Uh, you know, I interviewed Yellow Beezy after he got shot in his car. I interviewed Mo Three about a year and a half ago. And he talked about how he knew that there was money on his head, but he didn't want to use security because he didn't feel anyone was trying to chase him down, which is exactly what happened a year and a half later. Yeah. Someone waited outside of a house of a girl's of a girl that he was hanging out with, chased him down a block. Yeah, he died like, with the gun in a stash spot. Oh yeah, I, I didn't know that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that part, but you know that that was a very tragic day for me as someone who who sat down with him for an hour and a half and you know get, got to listen to his life story and I was a fan of his music and then a few days later Boosie goes out you know to the vigil and then ends up getting shot uh, in Oak Cliff you know in front of the in big front of the T, mall yeah Big T Bazaar yeah the, 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 yeah the Big T Bazaar you know I just interviewed Boosie a couple of weeks ago he's still in a wheelchair he had to have two operations. Possibly and, and could have you, lost you, his leg because he's a diabetic. Possibly could have lost his life. Yeah. So you went out to the Big T Plaza. Can I ask what you were doing down there? Shit, I was just, I was just uh, getting some clothes. Okay. Getting some clothes and shit. What kind of car were you in? I don't know, man. I woke up and I was shot. I was in the hospital. Okay, so you don't want to talk about the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I woke up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, they ain't got no police report or nothing. I, really? I told him, nah, ain't no police report or nothing. Okay, so we don't have to talk about the actual nah. situation. I woke up, I was in the hospital. Okay. You know, not just the leg. Uh, you know, and still in a lot of pain, still going through it. You know, and you've made some comments about this, uh, particularly about Mo Three. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, out of all the out of all the most recent deaths uh, that I've been able to, you know, see and observe uh, via social media or the news, uh, he has struck my soul. Uh, man, I was saddened, and I couldn't I I couldn't figure out why. Man, I wanted to cry uh, to see that boy laying down in the street like that, man. Uh, so I started going to really listen to his music. And once you listen to his music, man, you can, you can hear the soul of him. You can, you can feel the pain that he emerged from. Uh, you can hear the, the, the resentment uh, in, in, in the tone. You know, uh, it was some hate in him. It was some, some anger uh, that he never got to resolve. That's what I said in the beginning, right? But then when I thought about a nigga chasing you down, nigga, chasing you down to kill you, and you running, you running. Man, you got a conversation with God while you running. There's some shit going on in your head, the fear of death. You running from death, and death catch you, so I know you and God talking about something. Man, that, I cried for him. But then I said, man, he got a chance to get it right. Some people won't get that upper chance to run from run from death. He 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 got to run briefly, and God gave him some time. Man, that hurt. That hurt to see good talent lie in the streets like that, nigga. And then he was killed by his own kind. 